So what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you this whole set of uh, Xingxiao cubes. And let's get started. Before, before we start the video, I just want to say that um, today is my first day of my winter holiday of summer it's actually summer holiday for me but it's my holiday and i will have time and then i'm getting some new cues for christmas which will be cool i'm gonna review them of course and yeah let's get started with it so coming to numbers this isn't actually this isn't technically a shinsha cube but it's sort of a goja cube it's a goja and i i, I don't know it's like I think Goja is sub-brand of Xinxiao. I don't know. I completely don't know. Just tell me in the comment section. And yeah. Wait. So this is actually my first ever proper cube. So I so I actually don't have a Rubix brand. So this comes as my first cube. This cube is super loose. And look at that sticker. It just fell off so easily. And yeah, overall this cube, well, it's one of the earliest cubes, so don't expect that much. Corner cutting, nearly zero. It sucks, and the cube sounds loose, and you can hear it. But it's actually pretty tight, and it's pretty hard to take apart. Uh, just don't care what I just said. And uh, yeah, overall, that's just a good cube for collection because not that many people have it because it's super rare. And uh, yeah, coming to number two, we have the Xinxiao Wind. If you saw my video, uh, I'm molding this cube. That's a cube. Uh, yeah, actually, I actually don't really like this mold, it sucks. But overall, this cube is super. It takes effort to turn, surprisingly, it, it doesn't turn that well. I mean, of course, it's much better than the first one, but th this one feels more stable and the sound are loud. The plastic are heavy and the cube are heavy and the plastic have higher quality. So yeah, that's a change of wind. Okay, coming to, and then we have the Xinxia 2x2. Uh, this Shinsha 2x2 don't really have corner cutting, look at that, don't really have corner cutting, but it doesn't lock up like my Gwampo does, but I still prefer my Gwampo though, because this cube is just overall super bad, and I don't like it, it's actually pretty catchy, and then we're done with 3 by 3 2 by 2 of course coming to the big cube this is my first and my only 4x4 four four I have because I really don't like big cubes I just I just find it so annoying to peeling up edges well don't be triggered I just don't like it it's my personal idea uh, it's my personal thought and um, well this cube uh, the sticker quality, I really don't like Xinxia sticker. Actually, it's not sticker, it's technically tails, but they're just super bad quality, I hate it. I can easily rub off another one. Oh, I never tried out the 4x4 before, but of course, this one sucks, because it, it's just super hard to... And the most annoying thing is that after you disassemble it oh, it's super frustrating to put it back and this cube is so loud and now I let you listen to the sound for the corner cutting it actually cuts no more than a QB half a QB and reverse nearly zero Oh my god, can you believe it? It's actually zero corner cutting. Reverse. 
and yep so the next one is also another big cube and it's my only 5x5 and I don't even get to solve it because I really hate it I solved it once or twice and then using the instruction but then I just completely forgot it after I didn't play with it for like 2 months I'm just super bad uh, the quality is super bad as you can tell from the corner it actually broke and uh, yep um, compared with the 4x4 this one is actually better it actually has better corner cutting and those pieces actually don't miss a line like like what those bead cube does which is surprise and uh, yeah I I still don't like it I hate big cubes okay coming to a number I don't know six okay we have to change our Mega Max I don't like it because there are too many F2Ls you have to do I, I, I just don't like those cubes that so you have to repeat the same process over and over so yeah this is the Shinsha um, Mega Max actually don't know how to solve the last layer it's just super annoying mm, what, I solve, what I do is solve the whole thing uh, and the last layer I I do the thing which you do on the which you do on a CYC you make a oh my god uh, you make mm, like the CYC you do a cross uh, a star in this case look at the sticker it just fell off again yeah I don't like it uh, I, I think I'm gonna throw it away or something and then yeah look Avoid it. Okay, let's keep talk about the. Uh, oh my god, the Mega Max. The Mega Max. And yeah, after I've done with the star, I'm gonna. I, I, I actually don't know how to uh, orient the corners. So I basically just uh, turn the corner, twist the corner, and then try all the R perms, T perms, F perms. Uh, J perms and um, yeah to to try and sometimes if I lucky I can get it in 10 tries and sometimes I just I just take all of the pieces and put them back to again because it sucks and coming to next is actually my favorite event it's my square one of course not the Shinsha square one I have I have the cheese square one which is much better this one pops so, this one pops so badly so easily that yeah, it's just super frustrating and when you want it to pull back it's just super annoying oh, I don't even think I, I'm gonna put it back the corner cutting is absolutely zero check it out check it out you can't even corner cut this. So yeah, it pops so easily and I don't like it. I like square one, but I need to use square one. Okay, coming to the next one, we have the mirror blocks, the golden one, and look at that. It, look at that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Let me turn the camera. Okay, never mind. Um, this is just a cool mod, cool Super G mod, which is super old already. Like, um, by like one years ago, people really like this mod, but now they ha they just uh, have been so many good mods. This one is just too old fashioned, but yeah, I say it's still a good mod. I can solve this. I can solve this in in three minutes, two and a half minutes. And I did so. This is just a a cool cube. You you don't really be solving it, but let's still see the same uh, corner cutting. It's actually pretty good corner cutting. You can see like that. You know, easy. The small piece, easy. Oh my god, that's effortless. You can see. Absolutely effortless. And um, well, it's shape shift and it's a fun cube. I say that over and over. 
is actually not that far. Uh, coming to the last, we have the pyramids. Uh, at the first thought, I thought, oh, pyram this pyramid is, is good. But after playing around with my uh, Qi Yi, Qi Yi, not the magnetic one, just the normal Qi Yi one, this cube, this pyramid sucks. Let's just not talk about other things. This cube is super clicky. It's so clicky that I make it super catchy and and it doesn't have any corner cut it does have but no reverse absolutely zero reverse and I just but the most annoying thing is the clickness clickness yeah I feel it right uh, I gonna I gonna remove all the ball bearings and if it doesn't work I might just leave it alone Plus, I'm getting the x man bell soon, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably just do some para flips and some mode. Oh, by the way, talking about para flip. Okay, look at that. Okay, actually, let me take off the cap. Actually, this you can mm, take out the cap, which is good. And then you para flip it. Master. And uh, yep, that's it. Here are all my collection of the Xinxiao one Wait, with a piece. I don't really. Wait, where is it? Okay, here we go. And yep, that's all my Xinxiao cubes. Uh, Xinxiao is a good brand, but the cubes really are aren't really good. Mm, but yeah, I still like it. I hope you guys enjoy like this video make sure to select smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and uh, from for my um, suggestion improvement and see you guys